I want to start off this review of Black Widow by just sort of um, prefacing that I'm not a Marvel cinematic movie purist. I don't drink the Marvel Kool-Aid to where I automatically love every single installment. Quite frankly, I'd say about half of them are very medium. That being said, I will say that about 60 to 65 percent of Black Widow is genuinely great, in my opinion, and 35 to 40 percent being medium but the movie is definitely not bad and i'll say from the get-go i had a lot of fun watching it and based upon my enjoyment level alone i would rank this marvel movie up higher with my fewer marvel movies that i enjoyed more than others and there's a lot of good things about this movie it's not a perfect movie it's not a groundbreaking movie it's not going to change your life but it's still a really fun movie and it definitely does have some wonderful things about it and not to worry this will be a non-spoiler review i know next to nothing about the comics so i really went in with a blank slate and really zero expectations which i think helped me enjoy this movie as much as i did Let's talk about the best parts of the movie for me. And hands down, number one would be Florence Pugh. Oh my God, is she a tremendous, tremendous new addition to the MCU. Florence Pugh is already an amazing actress, but she is just absolutely hysterical in this movie. She carries the dramatic scenes well, though, as we all know that she would, but she handles the action scenes well. She has amazing on-screen chemistry with Scarlett Johansson. They're playing sisters in the movie, and they are essentially the leads of the movie. Florence Pugh is vital to this movie, which is amazing in setting up her character, but I don't think it was so great for Scarlett Johansson because sadly, Florence Pugh is so goddamn fantastic in this movie that I feel like it does steal the spotlight away from, from Scarlett Johansson herself. Florence Pugh is definitely the MVP of this movie for me. Also, I really thought this movie did a great job at, at really entertaining us with some thrilling action scenes. It's pretty action-packed throughout. The pacing is very tight. It moves along swiftly. It doesn't drag. And even though there are some action scenes that can feel very, very CGI heavy, I did feel like almost all of them were pretty thrilling, very well choreographed, very well handled. Random side note, I loved the opening credits of this movie. It felt very non-Marvel-like. Um, it felt a lot more indie. It felt a lot more serious. Probably some of the best opening credits I've seen in any of the Marvel movies. Also, the score shocked me with how fucking epic it was, with how legit it was. And even though this movie is very much a confined story, I still felt that the stakes were legitimate. And of course, an empowering score combined with the amazing action really helped kind of make you feel like the stakes were legitimate, even though the story itself is pretty small. I also loved the family dynamic and the humor within this movie. Now, Marvel is no stranger to comedy and humor. And for the most part, I feel like they do a pretty good job. Not all the time, but this movie had excellent humor. I thought that the family dynamic as established within the trailers, you know, with Scarlett Johansson for Florence Pugh, David Harbour and Rachel Advice, I thought that their family dynamic worked very well. I thought they all had great chemistry, their individual relationships, the complexities there, the history there. I almost wish this movie would have been a limited series to really explore the family dynamic that much more because I do love these new characters introduced and I thought that they complemented Scarlett Johansson very, very well. The final thing I want to say that I really enjoyed about the movie is that it is exciting, the things that it does set up for future Marvel movies. Now, I'm not going to say anything, I'm not going to spoil anything, but for those of you looking for fun Easter eggs and exciting things to be introduced or, or set up for future films, it got me really, really fucking excited. And I feel like that's how you want to leave people, really, really excited to see what happens next because we are entering a new phase in the MCU. But at the end of the day, this movie is not perfect. And so I, there were a couple things that I think needed a little bit of work. But my biggest qualm in general is I do feel like this movie would have worked better had it been released chronologically um, within uh, Black Widow's lifespan. As in, I wish this movie had come out before Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame because having seen Avengers Infinity War and Endgame, spoiler for those movies, but they've been out for a few years, so whatever. In, in, in Avengers Endgame, we all know that Natasha, Black Widow, played by Scarlett Johansson, tragically dies. So this movie is meant to be a bit of a prequel, but it's also a movie to give us closure. Even though we know she dies in a different movie and this, the events of this movie take place beforehand, I did feel like this movie missed the mark. 
at giving us the type of closure that I think a lot of fans will be craving. This movie gave us so many great moments with Black Widow, but I don't, I don't feel like they went far enough in giving us uh, a little bit of an emotional send-off for the character, since this will ultimately be her legacy and pro possibly last time we see Scarlett Johansson in this role. I mean, never say never, but we know the character dies in a, la a latter film, so I kind of wish I would have felt more closure and completion to this overall character, and I think there are ways they could have done that, but I felt like they focused a little bit too much on setting up the future and getting you excited for the future. I feel like the writers could have done both, set up the future while giving us closure, but I felt like it was very one-sided in that. Also, I will say that there were some plot elements and, and uh, certain characters or progressions that felt kind of convenient, um, felt a little bit lazier or, or simple in terms of execution, uh, some things that weren't very innovative. But I forgave some of the laziness in some of the writing because I did feel like, you know, the action and the characters and the pacing was strong and it was en entertaining throughout. And so many Marvel movies tend to be a little bit simple or they tend to play it safe. And so this movie played it safe a number of times. Also, I do feel like this movie was strong in executing all of its first, second and third acts in general. However, I was let down by the very, very end. I feel like when they went in to stick the landing, the knees buckled. It wasn't bad, but it, it, it wasn't great. It wasn't what I was necessarily looking for because I felt like there was a lot of good stuff leading up to it. I kind of wish that they would have stuck the landing a little bit stronger than they did. And ultimately, I also feel like Scarlett Johansson, though she did a good job, I don't feel like she was given the Wonder Woman treatment, if you will, or or the WandaVision treatment, like really diving into this character. Yes, of course, there's exploration into her history, and she is definitely like, you know, the center focus of the movie. However, I feel like there are so many things about her, so much about her history, and so much about her character that we've yet to really dive into and eat up. And it doesn't make things any better when you introduce very exciting charismatic characters like Florence Pugh to be your co-lead, therefore having to fight for the spotlight in her own movie in, when talking about Black Widow. So at the end, I wasn't left feeling like she was given her due, much like, you know, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman or, or Elizabeth Olsen as Wanda Maximoff. She was fine. She was good within her own movie, but she wasn't an MVP for me. But with this being her only and final movie, I guess I would have wanted the script to have given her a little bit more meat to chew on and really go out on a high note. She wasn't bad at all. She was quite good. I just think they could have given her more. But at the end of the day, I thought this movie was a lot of fun. Sure, it took some simple ways out in terms of a few of the story elements, and yeah, it's not gonna win any awards, but it is better than a lot of Marvel movies, in my opinion. It's very rewatchable, it's very entertaining. I really enjoy the, the core cast of characters. Florence Pugh is a sensation that I can't wait to see more of. She alone is worth seeing this movie over. If you're skeptical about it, just go watch it for Florence Pugh. The action was really, really good. It was thrilling. So even though it's not perfect and it's not my favorite Marvel film, it's definitely a far cry from the worst and overall a really good time. I'm going to give Black Widow a B plus. And that's my review for you. So I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. So feel free to leave your comments down below, but please be careful not to spoil anything or mark your comments as such. As always, thank you all again for tuning in. And until next time, I'm Ryan Bamey signing off. Bye everyone.